Hey guys, welcome to The Real DVD Watchers. This week I'm reviewing a horror movie by a uh, guy called Ty West. He wrote, directed and produced this movie, I think. Um, it's the movie The House of the Devil, which I'd heard loads of really good things about. I'd heard it was like a throwback to kind of 80s, uh, I guess kind of late 70s, I don't know, horror movies. Um, and it is. It is, a, it is a really, really good kind of homage, I guess, or tribute to those kinds of movies um it's actually filmed using all the old equipment in the same kind of style so a really interesting thing about this movie is you know i'd love to to show it to someone without telling them that this movie was made in 2009 because it looks like it was made in in you know the 1980s it's really just incredible to watch for that reason alone um and it's not really got any kind of there's a couple of recognisable faces in it, but, you know, you could probably get away with showing this to someone and not actually letting on that it's, you know, from 2009. It really does the job of looking and feeling like those kind of movies, you know, amazingly well. Um, the plot of the movie is basically kind of, your, you know, um, typical horror movie sort of style in a way. Uh, it's about a girl called Sam who um, is a college sophomore. And she wants to get some money up together to buy this or to rent this new um, new house. So she finds an ad for a babysitting job and she takes the number down. And anyway, ends up getting the job. So when she gets there, things kind of get a bit weird. And she finds out that there's not actually a baby there for her to babysit. It turns out that she's going to be babysitting um, the, the owner of the house's elderly mother. Um, and things kind of get a bit stranger from there. It is a very slow-moving movie for the first kind of hour or so. Um, it builds up a lot of tension. Uh, I really did enjoy it, though. It, I wasn't bored at any time during the movie. Um, I think the the main actress who plays Sam, whose name I do not know, uh, she does a really great job. And as the movie progresses, um, and the final kind of 20 minutes are just really insane, uh, it goes down a kind of a route which... I wasn't expecting, in a way, um, because I really didn't know a lot about this movie, um, and kind of what happens, I don't want to spoil what happens, um, but, you know, there's a big clue in kind of the title, I guess, uh, and, you know, things end up being pretty damn twisted, and it does get pretty gory and bloody uh, towards the end, but that's not kind of the main appeal of this movie to me, anyway. Uh, the main appeal was just seeing something completely different, but at the same time, you know, it's ironic that to see something completely different nowadays is basically something that you would have been able to see uh, 20 years ago, I suppose. But, yeah, I really did enjoy it. I've not watched a lot of horror movies recently, um, but I really did enjoy this one. So, uh, I recommend it definitely, you know, uh, check this one out. But, like I said, just for the kind of imagery and um, you know, the style that they've used, you know, it's such a good throwback to those older films. Um, I've rambled so much about that in this review, I'm really sorry. But yeah, I, I really did enjoy this. Um, the storyline's great. Like I said, the last 20 minutes are just insane. Really enjoyed them. The main actress who played Sam was excellent. Um, and the director did a really good job. I'm not sure what other th films he's done, um, but I'd be interested in seeing you know, what he comes up with because he seems like a guy who you know, is a huge fan of, of horror movies. Um, you know, for someone to come up with something like this, uh, you, know, you, you must know your stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing something else that he's done.